Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So, I'm at about the point in my speeds to build now where I'm ready to start riveting together some aluminum body panels. I've got a whole bunch of these small aluminum rivets there, and this is what I'm going to use to run along the bottom edge of the body, um, right above the frame, to attach it to the frame. Now, I don't actually have a rivet gun to drive them into the panels. What I do have is this air chisel, um, runs off of an air hose, it has this chisel tip in there for carving stone. Now, I don't want a chisel, I want something that has a concave end in it that fits the contour of the head of the rivets there, so it can drive the, in the rivets. Now, the easiest thing to do would be to just cut off the tip of this chisel and then grind in the end until it fits the rivets and then use that. But I don't want to ruin a perfectly good chisel tip. Instead then, what I have is this Allen key, which is the same size as the chisel, it almost fits in here. It's a hexagon, not a square, but that's close enough. Um, so I'm going to use this and turn this into an actual riveting chisel so that I can put together my body panels. So, enjoy the video. Alright, so I got a test piece set up here now. Got my rivet driver in the gun net there. Trigger actuated right here. So we're gonna try this out. Alright, well there you go. That's the first rivet I've ever driven in anything basically. And it worked absolutely perfectly. You can see that chisel left no mark on the head there. Um, that that's, looks exactly like it did before. And I just use this steel block to kind of butt up against the back of the rivet. Um, you can use pretty much anything with some mass to it, just to give that rivet something to form against. So I'm going to put these other two in just for fun now. Alright, so I put these last two rivets in there. As you can see, I went a little harder on them than I probably should have. I have the air for this set at about 80 PSI right now, which is probably too much. But just as a proof of concept, I mean, it works fantastic. And I literally threw this together in just a few hours in one evening. And so this was just supposed to be a, a quick little video of something that I thought would be a cool little project. And you'll definitely see this in future videos of actually riveting things on the speedster I'm building. 
I'm planning to have rivet lines like this that run all along the bottom edge of the body right above the frame. And I think that'll be pretty cool. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.